All right, so I got a cool review here. This is a Tamiya Ferrari 360 Spider. This is a very cool kit. Um, cool box, cool picture of the cars on the side of the box. Very awesome. So let's not spend too much time looking at the box because the box is cool, but the model's even cooler. So let's look at what I did. Hmm. So this is a 124th scale kit of the Ferrari 360 Spider. Let's get it on camera there. There we go. As you can see, I did it in a uh, kind of a, a dark metallic red. It is a duplicolor paint over a silver with a lot of uh, quick shine floor polish over it. That's how I get those shines. Let's look at the back end of the car here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Again, that shine coming off that light there. I really like that. Nice lines on this car too, man. Ferrari's always got some cool looking cars. Alright, let's talk about it just for a second here. There's not a lot to talk about. This kit actually went together very, very well. Um, didn't have any problems with it. The interior. I left uh, kind of the plastic look going there. I just kind of painted the uh, the tan to give it uh, the look there. Two-tone um, dashboard there. I painted that black, tan, silver. The seats I left the plastic because I wanted, you know, the seat look. Went together in very, very well. Uh, there's a full engine on this kit. Uh, I pretty much made sure that the, you could see it at the top there, so all the top stuff is uh, nice to paint it. Now, it does show that this back part is supposed to open, but it doesn't really. There's like hinges up here on the uh, the glass, but it um, doesn't really open too well, so we're just going to leave that as is. Loving that shine on that paint there. Uh, suspension parts, it's got a full suspension front and back. Since you don't see them on these cars, I did not go through the effort of detail painting it all up. Um... I didn't want to waste my resources for something you're never going to see. I put most of my effort into the body and the interior. Make sure those were good. The headlights, uh, Ferrari's headlights are usually the same color as the car. I did it black because I like the contrasting look. That was really cool. Got some decals. There were some decals for the interior too. I didn't use them all. Uh, there are... And it fell off. Uh, it was a rub on Ferrari logo on the back there. It's probably on the board somewhere on my finger. Um, I was having problems with them. So, as you can see, it is now missing. So, the little rub on things I've been not having good luck with. And I, I don't know what to say. I have nothing bad to say about this kit. It went together very, very well. It looks very, very well. Looks very well. Looks very good. It's a fun one to sit on the shelf. It has posable steering. I broke one of the linkages, so they kind of both go whichever way they want to now. So that was kind of a bummer, but whatever, looks good. So short, quick video of the Ferrari 360 Spider by Tamiya. I really enjoy it. I really like it. I think it looks really, really good. It's gonna look good on my shelf. Oh, one thing I did forget, where is it at? So it's the um, the convertible. It does have the top to do the top up on it if you want to do that. So that's kind of a cool addition right there. Oop, that fell off. So you can have it sitting there, top down, or the top up. It fits in very, very nicely. Looks cool either way. Mine's going to sit convertible because I don't have a lot of convertibles, convertibles, convertibles in my collection. So, all right, everybody. There's the Tamiya 360 Spider. I hope you guys enjoy it. There will be some pictures after here, uh, after the video, like I normally do on my reviews. So, there you go. All right, everybody. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. All that good stuff. You know what I mean. Oh, I dropped the box. You know what we all mean. So, but I do uh, hope whatever you're doing, wherever you're at in life, I hope everything's going well. Until the next review, I'll check you guys later.